think this is the funny step, where you are and why we're looking here. Hey guys, Abby J here and I am so passionate about this video today because it's something I believe so strongly in and it's that you should always, 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 always vote for yourself. What do I mean by that? I mean that when it comes to you trying out for a team or when you're running for class office or when you're going for a promotion at work, that you should always support yourself, cheer yourself on. And if somebody asks you, um, like, like in voting, you know, whose name do you put on there, make sure you put your name first and then the other candidates, however they fall. But you have to show that you believe in yourself. I mean, if you don't, nobody will. So let's talk about the first step. Um, because a lot of people are scared to vote for themselves because of these two myths that I want to dispel today. And the first is if you vote for yourself, it means you're conceited. And that's absolutely not true. It actually means that you actually think you can achieve this dream, that you can be class president, that you can be a lead in the musical, or that you can get the chair in orchestra, or that you can get this job. It shows that you actually believe in yourself and that you're putting forth the effort to show to other people that you are competent to do the job. So don't ever think that it means that you you're like you're full of yourself or that you think, oh, I have this in the bag, because that's not it. It's very truthfully and humbly saying, like, I think I can do this. The second myth I'd like to dispel is that if you vote for yourself, it makes losing worse or feel more awful. And that's not true either. Actually, it kind of does the opposite. If people know that you want something, which can kind of seem embarrassing at times, you know, oh, I really knew that Izzy wanted to be class officer and she didn't make it. Like, oh, I'm embarrassed for her. Well, that's not really how people feel. They actually feel sad for you because they think, oh man, you know what? I know she really wanted that. Just the way we are in human nature, when somebody is personable, when somebody shows that they're really human, that we don't always get what we want and that we, we aren't all stars all the time, it actually makes us more likable, more relatable, and more lovable in a sense because people can put their arm around you and be like, oh my gosh, I didn't make it in the musical either. Like, what are you going to do? So it makes you relatable. I know this video is a little bit short, but I just hope you can feel all my intensity because I believe so strongly that you should always, always vote for yourself in whatever it is. Now it might not always be voting, but always cheer for yourself. Always think you can win because you can, nobody's stopping you. And sometimes things happen for you and you get it and sometimes you don't, but always believe that you can because that's half the battle. Well, have a great day and know I'm voting for you. Abby out.